Well, hey, folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back, an old man, a robot. Yeah, I've got a robot vacuum cleaner, folks. I have been looking at these for a long, long time, a couple years now. Finally have the opportunity to try one out. This is a Honecher robot vacuum cleaner, the Q6 Lite. This thing's even Wi-Fi enabled. You can take your phone and turn this thing on and off. That's crazy. Folks, I'll tell you what, we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to plug it in and uh, get it charged up. And then we're gonna put it through its paces and I'm gonna show you if it works. In fact, I'm gonna show you if I can figure out how it works. And remember, if I can do it, so can you. All right, there it is in the box. Uh, this is a high-tech vacuum cleaner, folks. There is a lot of stuff going on here and uh, I, I need to dig into that and figure out how this gosh darn thing works. But uh, I am so excited because I've wanted one of these for years. All right, so there is an app, and all you gotta do is use your phone, get you into the app, and uh, I tell you what, everything is covered here in the Honecher uh, manual for the Q6 Lite. Uh, and it's, everything has been very well written out, and uh, I've, been, <laughs> I've been very, very, very. All right, so you gotta download the, the Honey Smart app, and uh, there it is right there, and you add your device from there, and it takes you through everything. And we've got the Q6 Lite. And it just walks you through, getting in through it. Now remember, you uh, cannot have 5G, uh, which I do. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, it works on 2.4 gigahertz. And uh, keep on going. You know, regardless that it doesn't work on 5G, got this remote control here. And all you do is press play. And the thing just takes off and it starts searching the room and I'll show you some of the videos of that. But uh, if you're wondering how long the battery lasts, that's it right there. It was uh, an hour and 25 minutes and then it went back to its charging station and, and it got, uh, I'm in a two bedroom um, and it got, oh, it got almost all of it. Three quarters, ah, no, even more than that uh, of, the, uh, of the house. But it was, I watched the entire thing. It was fascinating. Oh, this is pretty cool, folks. Just watch it. And, you, and the reason I'm showing you this is, is that it's dealing with multiple heights here. Not only a wood floor, but carpet and two different sizes of carpet. And it's been climbing up and down. So it went around first and did a perimeter. And you can see where it kind of went around the chair and the couch. And now it's working its way, zig, not zigzag, but back and forth on the rest of the area, pretty cool. All right, so that's some pretty heavy, almost shag-like carpet. And uh, it, it is teaching itself how to do this carpet. And you can see through its wheel tracks, it was having some issues getting up on here because it's you know, two different levels. You got a smaller carpet there and then a taller carpet there. And once it got up on there, it's just going about its business of being a good little vacuum. It's almost like crop circles there. That is really kind of cool. This thing is, uh, and that's some thicker carpet. And, and it, uh, they figured it out. And I watched the whole thing. I don't, I don't think this is, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be fascinated by this thing. It works, it works really cool. So as it goes into a new area, it learns that area. And you can see that little bumper thing on the front of it. When it hits that, it's, it's, it's telling them, hey, there's an obstruction here. And it's, uh, right now it's in a new area of the house. It's just learning it. All right, folks, uh, <laughs> it's returning to charging station and it knows where it is. We'll watch it go there. You can see recharging station right there. You're probably asking how long it went. That was about an hour and 20 minutes. And it was over some really thick carpet, as you saw right there. Pretty impressive. All right, let's, let's check and see how much dust we collected. Now, I don't want anything to be in there because I take a lot of pride in keeping my house clean. But let's, uh, you've got this over here and you just pull out right here. And then you've got a 
bunch of instructions here, but it's just as easy as lifting this, and then you got your HEPA filter in there. Got to get that out, and uh, not sure how I'll do that. Oh, hey, hang on, there's a little tab right there. Huh, didn't see that. And then you got another pre-filter, and oh, oh, oh my gosh. Huh, look at that. Oh, I got to empty that. I'm embarrassed by that. But uh, that means it's doing its job. All right, folks, this thing is, like I said, there's a long ways to go with this thing. A lot of possibilities, but right out of the box, it worked fantastically. And I'll tell you what, I was so impressed. I was nervous. I watched it the entire time. It found all its boundaries, and, and, and I got stairs in the house, and they went up to the edge, and it just kept on going around, and it was just like, oh, man. But <laughs> this thing is really cool. So check them out. I'll leave the link down on Amazon. Uh, Hunter, this thing is fantastic. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, folks, I appreciate you watching.